Well, it's a new day. Six billion dollars spent and nothing changed. It never ends. Ah, uh, it never ends. So, in 2008, it's now 5.38 p.m., 45 degrees. In 2008, when Barack Obama won his first term in office, he received 69,456,897 votes for president. 69. Four, five, six, eight, nine, seven. Okay. According to the latest projections from, where is this from? The AP? From various sources. From the AP, reported uh, on the side of the New York Daily News. President Obama has received 60,459,974 votes. Almost exactly 9 million votes less than he got four years ago. 8,999,923. Isn't that interesting? No. He still won. He got more, uh, well, he got less states than four years ago, but he got enough. He got 26, right? 27 states. D.C. is not a state. And I'm giving him Florida. And Romney got 24 states. How many votes did McCain get? 59, 9, 34, 8, 14. Romney got 2 million less votes than McCain. Hmm. Nobody voted, I guess. So, I guess they were right when they said that the turnout would not be as high as four years ago, but it didn't matter. Or it didn't affect the outcome. It didn't change from four years ago. I think a lot of Republicans were counting on that, but it was not to be. Gary Johnson, Governor Gary Johnson, the Libertarian candidate, received as of right now, and this says 99% of precincts reporting, so there's still some Florida to count and you know, here and there, odds and sods. 1.1 million votes. 1,160,295 votes. That says 1%. They're probably being charitable. Why can't you give me some finer comments than that? Let's see. Will some other site tell me? There is a point, and I'll get to it. But... How many percent is that? I think it's like 1.1%. I don't know. It's not 5%, that's for sure. So, so much for that goal. Is there any place where libertarians uh, affected the outcome? Well, in Florida, which still hasn't been called, President Obama received about 47,000 more votes than Governor Romney. 47,000. Governor Johnson got 43,673. Dr. Stein got 8,712. And I don't even know who that dude is. Some other dude got almost 8,000 votes. R. Barr. That's not, uh, that's not Bob Barr again, is it? Which party was he running on? I don't know. He wasn't running in my state. So you add that up. Yes, that's more than the margin of victory. Were all those people going to vote for Romney? No. So it doesn't matter. Basically, it's like I said yesterday. Hey, I am the 1%. How about that? Democrats are happy that I didn't vote for Romney. Republicans are happy that I didn't vote for Obama. And I agree with both of them. But it's disheartening that he only got 1%. Not so much that he got 1%, but that if you add up all of them, I mean, he was the most. I believe Governor Johnson got more votes than all other third-party candidates combined. Uh, as I look at the long results from the New York Daily News via the AP, or 
versus Visa. Johnson, 1.1 million. Stein, 405,000. Virgil Good, 114,000. Oh, our bar is Roseanne Bar. Peace and Freedom Party. She got 49,000 votes. Good for her. Rocky Anderson. That's sad. Rocky Anderson, a real candidate. 14,000 votes less than Roseanne Barr. But that probably means all the people that would have voted for Anderson may have voted for Johnson. It goes on and on and on. But anyway, I don't think you can get to a million just amongst those people. That's 600,000. Everybody else got 13,000 or less. Well, you can see all these numbers yourself. You know how to get to the AP or to one of their member papers. Gosh, I really feel like Obama and Romney are exactly the same, though. But there are 98.9% of the people who thought they were different enough to cast a vote for one of them. That's what's most depressing, I think. We're going to be stuck in this crappy two-party system with two crappy parties putting up crappy candidates who aren't going to do crap. Hey, how are you? Let's talk about the Timberwolves. They're 2-1. and one. They're playing Orlando tonight. There's a beer on the line, at least one, I'm assuming. I haven't heard from Flea yet. But he uh, made the bet up, and I accepted. So one beer. One enormous beer. Now, let's just see. As you can see, I'm dressed for the game. And I put my pants on. I failed to shave. I did do my hair. And I should actually be out the door and on my way to the Target Center probably right now, but I had a meeting go long. I had four meetings today, all of them so important. The thing about meetings is they keep you from looking at election news on the Internet. And it's just as well. I'm so weary of people on the Internet and their election news. I'm sure they feel the same way about me. I left a smart-ass Facebook status report and... Amy Baxter told me how cute it was when I was condescending. Actually said, uh, it's cute how condescending you were. And I, of course I immediately shot back with, I am still condescending. I don't know if she wrote me back or not. However, what I said then was, if you think it's over tomorrow, it's cute how naive you are. And even though I meant in the sense that I thought we were going to have to go way into the night to find out who actually won this thing. And it wrapped up pretty early. I think it was about 11 o'clock Central, right? By the time that... And they could have done it a lot earlier. I mean, the writing was on the wall when you saw, okay, you can't win, can't win, can't win. There's just no way the math's going to work out. So really, that was an early night. Not that it didn't keep me staying up way past my bedtime watching. Anyway. Man, how great is Neil Cavuto on Fox Business, huh? That guy is so awesome. And the thing is, I totally forgot about him. I spent most of the night watching CNN, which, a big departure for me, I usually put it on NBC and rip the knob off, but NBC's really gotten me over the past four years. I think that's the MSNBC effect. Just can't handle them anymore. And as funny as Brian Williams is, and he's devastatingly funny, there's just too much other nonsense going on. I just put it on CNN and let the soothing sounds of Wolf and John and Anderson and Aaron soothe me into another four years of what great fun. Actually, there'll be an election in two years that'll be, probably be fun to watch, but again, I'm getting jaded, man. Can't stand these two parties. And I try to be, I try not to be as mean about it during the campaign season, but you know, you knew it was going to happen. Is that one half of the people were just going to be smug assholes because their guy won, and then the other half were going to be, well, pretty much in denial. And it would have happened no matter which guy won. I'm not telling you anything you already, don't already know. What a depressing ten minutes this has been. We're going to beat the magic. We sure are. Um, you haven't said anything, right? If you did, I'll have to get to it tomorrow. Where we'll talk about the Timberwolves and no political stuff, I'm sure. I've actually pretty much kept politics out of this most of the time, but couldn't help myself. 
I have to wallow in my self-pity just like everyone else. Well, except those people who are very smug about the fact that their guy won. Okay, your guy won. Now what are you going to do? Are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to sign the internet away to the content police? Copyright CRZ 2012. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.